That's your shoe. Where's the kale chips? <laughs> You're so smart. Are there kale chips in the oven? Yeah? Say hurry up, we want to eat you. <laughs> Good morning guys, we are making some kale chips. Take a look, I think they're almost done. <laughs> Yeah, and you're bringing all of your shoes to the oven? Why? Can I go get more? What we'll up, get... suckers? What we'll up, get... suckers? <laughs> you totally threw me off right there. <laughs> That's what you're gonna say. What's up, guys? Good afternoon, guys. Well, it's my second time turning on the camera today and Josh is home from work, obviously. Um, I was just gonna make like a simple something for dinner and Josh comes home and is like, I want good Mexican food and I wanna make it the way I know how to make it and I want it the way I want it and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so he has these grand plans, well, you guys. Well, you gotta think that I'm not eating this meal once, I'm eating this meal twice. True. So, in a row. Yeah. So, noodles and cheese and butter is not gonna deal. That is not what I was gonna make. Just regular plain Stupid. macaroni and craft macaroni and cheese is not gonna work for me. Yeah, right. I have never made him mac and cheese for dinner. Give me a break. Um, so we are on our way to Pancho Villa's, our favorite Mexican market, and we're gonna get some ingredients for a good meal, I guess. <laughs> Anything else? You just ran out of things to say. I did. What are you doing? This is real life. You guys want to know what real life with us is? This is it. Question. I do have a question. Um, do most of you guys, like when you and your husband or you and your wife or you and your boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, whatever, are in the car, do you talk a lot of the time or are you quiet? What do you say we are? I feel like we talk a lot. Um, do we talk a lot? I feel like we're both. Sometimes we're loud. Sometimes we're quiet. Sometimes we're loud. <laughs> Depends if we got things to say. Here's I the real like question. Talk, Here's the I real question. I feel like question. we talk a pretty decent amount. Is is it awkward if you're quiet? <coughs> well, I hope. I hope I it would like be awkward. I feel like that's the key. That that's the key to like knowing how successful your relationship is. Can you be quiet with if each other? If you really love someone, you can be quiet around them and it's not awkward. You see the birds? Do you see pinatas? Wow. <laughs> Are you dancing to the music? <laughs> Our trip that was supposed to be like 10-15 minutes turned into over half an hour because we waited in line for fresh tortillas, which, I mean, we've never had to wait in line before, have we? I've had to wait in line once. Really? Not that long. There was a woman in front of me. She had to be the person right in front of me. She stood there and waited for 10 bags of tortillas and the women are just sit, like standing there over the grill like grill, the flat top, flat top thing yeah. um, making the tortillas and so they're literally like bagging them as they're ready so it took a long long time and she got 10 bags of tortillas <laughs> it was insane like i don't even know what she's doing to get into check out i know one girl bought milk but she wanted a different type of milk and they didn't have it so then we waited a long time and then her and her husband split the transaction in half, so half went here and half went there. It's crazy. I'm gonna eat my tortilla. Are you eating your tortilla? Is it yummy? <laughs> She's like, I'll give you some of my tortilla. Oh. <laughs> well, Scout dropped her tortilla on the floor, so I guess she's gonna share it with all of them. That's very nice, Scout. 
Yeah, did it fall on the ground? You guys, you want to know the cutest thing that happened today? I was sitting out here on my computer and Scout was just playing, like running around playing. And I guess I had changed her diaper in the bedroom and left the diaper on the edge of the bed and I forgot to throw it away. So she was just running around in the living room playing and I'm sitting at my computer and all of a sudden she runs through the room with a diaper and she throws it in the trash can. It was like the cutest thing. Did you throw a diaper in the trash? But don't throw your cup in the trash, please. No, your cup doesn't go in the trash. No, no. We've just gotta learn what goes in the trash and what doesn't, huh? Are you looking up a recipe? Well, I'm just figuring out the best way to do this jokes. Josh has a plan, you guys. He's on a mission. I'm gonna make some guacamole. You want some guac? <laughs> is that yummy? Got the guac made. Josh is making some concoction over there. I don't want her near this because it's gonna splatter. Come here. Oh gosh, I've got two of them. No, Ali, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, it's going everywhere. Can you jump? <laughs> oh, come give me a kiss. Oh, I love you. Throw it. Yeah. Good throw. That went far. I'm like totally having an allergy attack. My throat, my nose, my eyes, everything itches. I keep sneezing. Yeah. But I'm outside with you, huh? Are you so cute? Are you just so cute? Oh, and I didn't show you guys what I did today. So I've always wanted to try Jamberry nails and they are like nail wraps. Um, I've heard a lot about like gel nail polish and how long it lasts and whatever but I'm just like so tired of painting my own nails having them chip the next day so um, I decided to give Jamberry Nails a try and my friend Michaela is actually a consultant for Jamberry Nails so I will have her website linked below but I went ahead and ordered some from her and this is my very first time trying them and I'm really excited I want to see how long they last and if I really like them I just think it's really cool and exciting to know that I can buy wraps that are in like patterns and colors that I wouldn't be able to do on my own. But here are my nails. I'll show you guys. Is it focused? I can't tell. So it's hard to tell really in this lighting. Oh, that looks okay. Um, it's gold, nude, and white. And they're so pretty. I really like them. This, this design is called Obsessed. And this is the only one I ordered, so um, if I like these and if I'm happy with them, I will order more. Do you guys see this palm tree up here above our house? I just love it. The sun hits it at this time of night, and it's so pretty. You got your ball? This girl has just been jabbering all day. Are you trying to talk these days? Huh? Get back here! <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> You're so silly! Alright, so we've been coloring on Scout's table. Look what I did. I tried to make our day mysterious. <laughs> Logo. Wow. <laughs> You've been doing a very good job coloring, huh? Yeah. You want more chalk? You just want more chalk. Look at how broken these pieces are. You're such a silly girl. No. <laughs> you don't need it. Are the clouds so pretty? Look at the sky. Wow, look at it. 
That is really pretty. <laughs> You're so cute. What is Olive doing over there? Hi! <laughs> you guys are so cute. Aww. <laughs> You're so nice. I love you. Alright guys, I just finished the meal. So, I don't even know what to call this. I made it up. To be honest with you, I saw a picture today of some Mexican food and it looks so good and it had like this really nice rich red looking sauce over the top of it. Basically what I did was I made like a chili Colorado sauce and uh, I've never made it before. Sorry, I'm like turning down the rice here. I've never made it before, but... <gasps> oh my word. No. That is a no-no. Go. That's a no-no. <laughs> I came up with this sauce. I tasted it. It was a little, had a kind of a bitter taste to it. So then I added sugar and then I added butter. And it still just wasn't right to me. So then in a separate pan, I sauteed onions and I deglazed with um, red wine. Oh my gosh, fancy pan. I'm sorry. When I have something in my mind, like I have to do it all the way. Like it doesn't take that much longer and whatever. It's not that fancy. I deglazed with red wine. It made like this nice um, concentrate. I put that in the sauce. That totally is what made it work. Anyways, this is the result. We're red, you link, Snapchat, follow that. Click the You guys, Good Mythical Morning is back. We didn't even know what to do during dinner time without it. What are you doing? Can you, can you lay your head down? Oh, lay your head down on your napkin. Oh. You can lay in bed. You You're want. gonna take a nap. That's where we're gonna sleep from now on. Lay your head down. <laughs> <laughs> You're closing your eyes. <laughs> lay your head down. Lay down. <laughs> we need to teach her how to lay her head down and close her eyes at the same time. <laughs> Go night night. <laughs> you are too funny. Oh, Scout's vlogging. Say hi. Good afternoon guys. It is the next day and I never ended the vlog yesterday. Um, we were gonna film more after dinner and the night just got away from us. Scout fell asleep. Um, Josh's parents are actually out of town right now and his brother and sister are home and um, I don't think we've ever showed her in the vlogs but they have a little cat and she is a savannah cat. If you saw her out in the wild you'd probably think she was a wild cat. She pretty much looks like a leopard. Anyways she is strictly an indoor cat, has never been let outside. Last night she got out and by the time Josh's brother realized that she was missing she had been out for a little while. So Josh and his brother were up until 11:30 p.m. searching for this cat because she's never been outside before and they didn't want her to go overnight outside and I don't know if she'd be able to find her way home. Anyways, our evening turned into a really long night of searching for that little kitty, but all is well, she was found. I think she was like hiding underneath a car or something like that. So anyways, glad they found her and we just forgot to end the vlog after all of that. I want to apologize for vlogs being a little bit sparse. A lot has been going on behind the scenes and there's not too many details that I can give right now. I really wish that I could, but there's just so much happening behind the camera and we always want to be like honest with you guys and upfront with you guys about what's going on in our lives, but right now um, we just can't really like fill you guys in all the way. It's not necessarily all bad. Um, there is some bad, there is some good. The bad and the good are both stressful, so um, that's kind of just what's going on. It's a little bit hard to film like every single day and not be able to talk about certain things. So that's why we went a couple days without uploading a video and 
Um, I just want you guys to know, like, you will be filled in eventually. We've just got to get to a point where we are able to, like, tell you the full story and fully explain everything and, um, and also just wait until we have all the details worked out. So, um, anyways, there's just a lot of stuff going on. All I can say is that this trip to Vlogger Fair is much, much needed and we are so, like, you guys, saying that we are so excited for Vlogger Fair is an understatement. Like, I cannot flipping wait. I am so excited. So, um, we officially leave a week from today. I'm talking to you right now on Wednesday and we will leave next Wednesday. So we are going to be driving up to Northern California flying out of Sacramento to Seattle with our friends Cooley and Co. And we're gonna spend three days in Seattle. I'm so excited because we've never been to Seattle. It'll be both Josh and Mai's first time. Josh and Mai's? Josh and Mai's? I don't know. <laughs> It'll be our first time. I'm just really excited for a vacation. And have I said the word excited enough? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for being patient as always. I know you guys have been so patient with us. We have been so up and down on this daily vlogging journey. We did daily vlogging for a full year and then after that it's just been kind of like up and down. So keep us in your thoughts and prayers if you want to. Um, there's just a lot going on like I said. So if you think about us, send out some positive energy and hopefully we will have some news for you soon. And that's about it. That's all I got. So give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. I don't know what to do. I gotta go hunt them down.